make no mistake, what we heard this evening was a clear message. We will not falter. We will continue on. We will continue together. And that's why I'm so proud to serve under this initiative, under the leadership of Councilman, Councilwoman Debbie Rose. And I would like to thank you again for your leadership and your support. And as President Molinaro said, the real leader that has been inspiring us to work 24-7 on these kind of initiatives is Christian Green, the speaker. Thank you, speaker. From day one, we've been here. Desde el primer día, el Consulado General de México ha estado aquí. And we will continue to be here for good. Not for the duration of the crisis, but for good. For we are Staten Island. Thank you all for being here today. It's very important to see that when these types of issues happen, um, and when a community is uniting, that the cameras show up and that people really pay attention. No matter whether Staten Island is across the bridge, it is a part of New York, and it is something, it is a place that is very significant to us because as the borough president said, this is an area that you never really hear that there is a lot of violence going on. The people who live in this community are very loving and, and supportive of one another. So National Action Network founded Not Robbery to be here to support um, our city council folks, uh, council member Rose, and also I have to say a special word about Speaker Quinn. Her guidance um, against these deplorable issues of hate crimes and violence in our communities is just very important that the Speaker of New York City would be a part of this is the type of speaker that we need, the type of advocate for our communities. And we're glad to be united with her office. We've worked on issues and matters like this in the past um, where other folks have experienced similar issues, similar difficulties. National Action Network is a national organization that works with people, particularly African Americans, where our, our civil rights have been violated. We found it not robbery to unite with any race, any group, that is experiencing something because we know all too well how much it hurts when people are picked out just because of their race or the way they speak or who they are in love with and all of those types of things. And so we, we, we found it not rockery to come here to be a part of this effort. I want to ask Councilman Morose to add the National Action Network's name to the organizations that are supporting our Buenas noches, mi nombre es Daniel y represento Hace Camino Nueva York, una organización de membresía trabajando en Staten Island desde el año 2001. Estamos orgullosos de estar acá y de ser parte de este esfuerzo de I Am Staten Island, de ver el liderazgo que está tomando eh, la, la vocera Cristina Juan y la consejera Debbie Rose, juntos con nuestros aliados en la comunidad y otros oficiales electos que están acá hoy. Eh, nosotros Juntamos nuestras voces diciendo que no podemos tolerar y que no toleramos esas acciones eh, en nuestra comunidad en contra de nuestros miembros eh, hispanos y de la comunidad LGBT. También creemos que el problema es parte de, de un discurso nacional que muestra y que presenta inmigrantes indocumentados, inmigrantes como personas más vulnerables y que les conecta con las raíces de los problemas con nuestra situación económica. Sabemos que eso no es la verdad. Migrantes vienen aquí a esta ciudad y este, a este país para trabajar, construir familias y apoyar nuestra prosperidad económica. Las soluciones a este problema a largo plazo no se va a lograr hasta que tengan con solamente un aumento de la presencia de la policía. También tenemos que pensar, como dijo la compañera, en las oportunidades económicas que tienen nuestros jóvenes. Los jóvenes de todos los países, no importa la raza, eh, eh, nacionalidad, de, dentro de nuestra comunidad. Estamos emocionados otra vez de estar acá juntos con el Christine Quinn, eh, Debbie Rose y los, los otros aliados. Y 
para seguir creando las relaciones juntos en esta comunidad para crear los puentes y los lazos y, y fortalecernos de aquí a largo plazo para no solamente ver esa, esa violencia eh, para, pero para realmente traer una futu un futuro eh, mejor para nuestros jóvenes y nuestros hijos. Muchas gracias. Es muy importante que mantengamos los rituales seguros. I myself, back in April, I, I got vandalized. I mean, I turned in some tapes that caught some kids doing something to this Mexican fellow. He got hurt bad, I turned in the tapes. Next thing you know, my cameras are getting be, uh, broken. Next thing I know, I'm getting signs like this, and, and, and I don't like it. I don't want to feel that I have to be uncomfortable when I go to work. I want to go to work and enjoy the environment that I'm in. I care about Port Richmond Avenue. I have my life invested in Port Richmond. When I see publicity, we're taking Port Richmond back, and Port Richmond never left. We have some hooligans. <laughs> right. I like it. Thank you. Port Richmond never left. for a long time. I mean, I came from Bay Ridge. I was born in Bay Ridge. I was born on Third Avenue. But everything works good. But things happen in Bay Ridge too. It happens in different communities. What's happening here is. People just feel like they can try to take over. They're not going to take over. We're going to fight back, and we're going to come to some kind of an answer to get this under control. The only other thing I'd like to add is that we've been working with Michelle Sledge from the Northfield Development Corp, and she's been very instrumental in getting the community together, getting the merchants together. I just want people to know that I, I continue to step, believe in Port Richmond. I have a lot invested in Port Richmond, and I know that the people in this neighborhood can be saved. You can shop in Port Richmond. There's no reason to be afraid. There's a presence in Port Richmond, and there's no reason to be concerned about coming here to shop. And I'd like to thank the Speaker of the House for coming down, and Debbie Rose, and all the elected officials to be here today to try to make a difference. We're going to have problems. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.